But now, it wasn't exactly love at first sight for today's guests, Laura Norton and Mark Jordan, who met on the set of Emmerdale six years ago. This is them in their fateful first ever scene together. Uh, but now they have got love, a future marriage, and also a baby on the way. Uh, they're here to tell us more. It's Laura and Mark. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Okay. We're really good. <laughs> Congratulations on your baby news. You're blending in with the sofa there. We can't see any bump. Can we see your bump? Oh, yeah. Sideways. You can see. Oh! oh. Nice, neat little bump that is, isn't it? Oh. No, that's a boy. <laughs> you think it's a boy? Boy, nice, neat bump all around the front. Have you found out what it is? No, not yet. Oh, well, you never know. Little, little Linda here. <laughs> so, obviously, you met on the set of Emmerdale. What, did you know right away? Was it love at first sight? Oh, no. Um, we met, you came and did a really short stint, didn't you? I yeah. think we were there for about three minutes. <laughs> and um, we just had to give time. Mark's very family unit and um, disappeared. And we kept in touch, sort of, as a group, as a family on the group texts, and then about a year later, we had a little reunion. Yeah, we had a little reunion, a little bit of going out, catching up with everybody, and um, just slowly but surely. Yeah, we ended up asking certain questions. Was Quite boring. In, was it in Builder. secret, or did anyone on Emmerdale suspect something was going on? Well, no, because we didn't even know. <laughs> That's very true. We, um, <laughs> we did a friendship, and then the beginnings of a relationship over the telephone. It's quite boring. It's cute, yeah. but it's boring. <laughs> yeah, we were friends for a long time, so I think people just took it that we were good buddies. So any extra news that we gave them later down the line was a surprise then, but yeah. it was it was much later down the line, and uh... it was just a surprise to us. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. well, were you worried? Because it's you know it's a lovely thing when you know you form a friendship and this sort of thing. We all seen when Harry met Sally. Is there a, you know a, a worry that if you make that move and then you have a relationship that the friendship's all going to fall apart? Oh, definitely. I mean, when we first told each other that we liked each other, we just went, should we just leave it? Should yeah. we just stay as yeah, friends? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's probably yeah. best. So it was months after we actually told each other that we did anything about oh, it. God, yeah. Mark got brave and asked me on a date. Yeah, which didn't go brilliantly, but nevertheless, that it was just, a sign of our life. Yeah, it, set, it set the tone for the rest of our relationship, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? We heard that you weren't backward in coming forward. You made the first move, didn't you? Well, yeah. I mean, I was brave enough to... That I was I was having the feelings. <laughs> the feelings. Yeah. <laughs> and luckily, like, he was as well. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I told her instantly. Uh, but like like Laura said, it was a weird time because uh, we were just like, this isn't good. We're really good friends. We should tune out from this. But of course, let's just leave it. Yeah. We kept re-examining the question. Eventually, eventually, it was a bit more of a question and a bit more. Uh, we just couldn't leave it, obviously. No. And, Thank you, God. and you got engaged, you two, didn't you? Um, what happened? Something happened that was quite funny, wasn't it? With fireworks or something? Something always happens that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it was Laura's birthday and I managed to convince her to uh, come for a meal quite near her folks uh, on the lovely beach there. And I managed to get a dad and a mum to come. And while well, Laura wasn't uh, with us, when she was powdering her nose in the, in the loo, I, uh, I asked the father permission and then booked holiday to Spain. Uh, and then on the last night that we were there, there was um, a festival on the bay and all the fireworks were going off. So I decided that would be the most ideal time to rush up to the balcony and set the ring there and the uh, champagne. Uh, and when we got in, you... Well, I just thought, brilliant, we've just gone back to the room, we can watch the fireworks, I can get one dress and jobs and take my makeup off. Just sat there with big black marks <laughs> under my eyes. <laughs> and then when got the, the wedding then? Oh, God, you tell us. I mean, we had hoped it would be this year. I went off on a tour, uh, and then we were planning everything, and we were like, as soon as the tour's done, we can get and we can scoot off. And now, you know, this, yeah, this pandemic. Yeah, happened, yeah. So, and obviously... And then something else yeah, is happening. I'm, I'm pregnant as well. <laughs> there is that, yeah. Can I just ask you, what's that noise that's in the background? Is someone? Are you in a cafe? Someone making a coffee? No. Oh my goodness. Oh, we, no. we can't hear anything. No. Sorry. Oh no, no, I it's fine. Later. It's <laughs> a... I want to. I want to ask you. Most people, if they come for an overnight stay or something, they've got a toothbrush or they've got a shaver. Laura, 
Am I right in saying you turned up to Mark's with a suitcase? Three suitcases. Uh, three suitcases. Three suitcases <laughs> to, to move in before lockdown and you hadn't even had the conversation. So, Mark, I want to know, what was your instant reaction to that? <laughs> Just get in. Get in. Come on. I locked the door behind her. I was like, this is perfect. I seem to remember you looking at the cases and just going, <laughs> oh, well, OK, then. Yeah. <laughs> but the truth be told, because I'd been away on tour, Laura had been busy at work, we'd hardly seen each other for quite a few months. And so when Laura decided to spend lockdown at mine, it was just, I mean, it was a godsend. Because otherwise we'd be doing this and listening to coffee yeah. percolators <laughs> over the screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, in the ju flesh. Just out of vision there, have you got your little puppy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're stroking somebody. Oh, a little, little practice for, for looking after a baby. That's so lovely. What's your doggy called? Juno. Oh. And Juno's really, really cute, but um, she's fast asleep now, and uh, that's probably because she normally gets up about half four in the morning. Yeah. Very good so practice. Very good it, practice. Do you know, we've only got a few seconds to go, but before we go, this is a personal thing for me. My dad is a massive Heartbeat fan. So oh. can you say hello to my dad and to Brian, who are big fans uh, of Heartbeat? Just say hello. Hello to Brian. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I get a brownie, a, a daughter brownie points there. So there we are. Oh, can we just say, can we say good luck, good luck, good <laughs> luck to both of you with a baby and, and everything else? It's a beautiful, beautiful Emmerdale love story. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye. Bye. Bye.